What's up fellow artists, my name is Josh. You might know me as Mad Charcoal. Today we're gonna talk about getting over art block. And I know this is a big question I get a lot from a lot of younger artists or even more experienced artists. And um, so while I'm talking, I'm going to make this illustration or drawing with this uh, pen. It's a black liner, 0.8 from uh, Pacific Arc. And this is the reference I'll be using. I just have it there so you guys can kind of watch back and forth. The angles are different. And then I'm not, I'm just going to kind of roughly go off of the reference. So it's not going to be exact. Um, but I'll just have that as your entertainment while I talk about this. And also my entertainment so that, um, so that it can have something to do. And it could be fun to watch. This is a, so it's like a felt tip pen. And I'm going to do a scribble portrait. And I wanted to do it wide length because I don't usually work that way and I thought it'd be fun, especially for the format for YouTube. Get these values started. Kind of manipulate this as I go. Okay, so art block. First I'll talk about what I think is the, are the reasons for art block um, that I've seen. They're, like your experience might be completely different, I'm not sure, but I'll talk about my experience and what I do to kind of combat it because everybody gets art block. All the greatest artists, all, from the from the most amateur of artists and the most um, younger artists to the older, more mature artists and the more experienced and successful artists and everything in between, and in different creative fields as well, not just not just drawing and painting. But I'll be specific with drawing and painting just because of my uh, what I what I do more of, what I know more about. I'll just kind of keep it on that. Okay. So one of the reasons that I know. Um, our block comes up, it's because of overworking. Make sure you're taking breaks, right? Don't work too hard. It's, it's good to work hard, but if you start drawing too much or start make creating too much, you're gonna get burnt out. Your energy levels are gonna go, your creative energy levels are gonna go out the door. And you really need those to create the best work. Otherwise, the work that you're making is not going to be worth um, creating more because you're not gonna be doing your best work. And it's, it's good to try to pursue your best work every time you work. Okay. Also underworking. I find that when I'm not drawing as much as I should be, it tends, I tend to get a little bit more lackadaisical on drawing and I kind of forget how good it feels to draw or how good it feels to create. And so I tend to draw less and I feel like I have art block. I feel like I don't really want to start. And I think that has a lot to do with, um, with not drawing often. And that'll kind of take us into a point that I have to um, draw, to, to overcome art block, and which is creating often. The more often you create, the more of a routine you develop as an artist, the easier it'll be to overcome art block because your, your mind and body will be used to you um, overcoming that and drawing often. And so like, it's not gonna take as much energy to overcome that art block if, if um, the art block is due to something more close to laziness or to um, um, just not feeling like doing it because you haven't done it in a long time, which is a, a very common excuse and an excuse that I used to use so much before I was a um, full-time artist. And so um, <clears throat> with that in mind, you know what, this pen, it's kind of not working the greatest because I think that it might be running low on ink. Let me switch to ballpoint, see how that starts working. This is just a paper mate ballpoint pen. Oh, that'll be fun. We'll do that. Okay. I like that you could control the lightness and darkness more so. So when you're drawing often, it's a lot easier to overcome what you overcome consistently. The first time is gonna be most difficult. Um, but commonly enough, I think that, that sometimes people have art block because they are stuck in the same place too often or they um, need some fresh air and some exercise. Your brain is usually what gives you the art block, not you physically so much unless you need sleep or something like that. So with that in mind, it's really good to go for a walk, go out to nature and make sure that you're refreshing yourself physically and, um, and changing your environment. That works for me a ton. If I don't feel like working and I need to get something done, I'll, um, I'll invest some time in going for a walk 
because that's what it is is an investment of your time and um or or going and playing a sport hanging out with some friends in a different environment but hopefully something that is physically um laborious that will get your muscle flowing and your brain turning and and your body working otherwise if you're just sitting on the couch sometimes it's just going to eat up your energy and um it's changing your environment and your levels of of exercise is really good i have to play soccer about not have to but i, I enjoy playing soccer a few times a week and that helps me a ton because um with that in mind i actually it actually helps me with my creative ability because i'm not static um the human body was created to move around and to and to be to use effort in terms of physically and so um when that happens your your brain is going to work much better and that's what you use for drawing um your brain i mean and my arm kind of hurts and it's kind of tired right now anyway but um it's mostly your brain unless you're doing some crazy huge laborious like uh mural or something like that which can very well be the case this is looking pretty cool it's a little bit different in some areas but that's all right i'll keep overlapping these lines creating values so the next one would be Research inspiration. A lot of times I don't feel like drawing because I don't know exactly what to draw. And if that's the case, um, look up some artists you like. Find some artwork you do like. And even if you try to replicate that kind of artwork and that kind of style, and it might not feel original, but you're going to naturally have your style emerge out of it. There's no way somebody could completely copy somebody without, um, without their style emerging out of it, especially if you're doing some freehand drawing or freehand painting or a la prima or something like that and so it's really good to find other artists that you really like and consistently digest their work and see what they're doing so you can push yourself um you don't necessarily have to become like them but you can take qualities you like of them and try to replicate those qualities we are all just pretty much different combinations of the same ideas in a sense um i know that's arguable but that's very true in in, in some ways and with that in mind, it's, it's important to find those artists that you do admire and those artists and that type of work that you like, that you want to become more like, and that'll inspire you to create more. Um, it's a really good thing to have. I, I use Instagram for that mostly. Another way to find inspiration is books and movies or stories or interacting with other people. Stories are a really good thing to get your mind going and to visualize something that that even if it's um, abstract and it's not real or, or if it's something very real, like a scene or like a face or a personality or an emotion, that'll get your, that'll get your creative juices flowing very well, um, depending on who you are, depending on how you digest that. But uh, for me, if I watch a really good movie, that's so inspiring. To me, that's more inspiring than seeing artwork, actually. So if I'm not feeling inspired, sometimes I'll watch a movie I like or, or I'll um, listen to some good music that I really like that gets me inspired to draw more. And that'll get me over my art block pretty quickly. Unless there, there is sometimes that um, I know that the art block is so extreme and I'm so tired mentally, creatively, that you just need to rest. You need to take a break. You need to get back at it maybe tomorrow or the day after that. And um, it's hard to know exactly when that'll be, but that's how creativity works. It's not the same thing as um, as other types of jobs where you just gotta hunker down and get it done. Um, it's a lot harder and a lot more complicated for uh, in terms of um, creativity. So um, just keep that in mind and don't feel bad if you don't get over your art block immediately. You, it, I don't think that if you're in an art block of days or weeks or months span, I think it's important to try to get over it and to really push yourself to start. Just start. Once you start working, you'll be surprised how inspired you get, trust me. Pick up that pencil right now if you need to stop this video. Go put the pencil to a paper, don't even have expectations of what you're gonna make, and you'll be surprised at how, how your creative juices start naturally flowing. But before that, it's kind of intimidating. It could be intimidating depending on um, who you are and how, how your brain operates, but I know some artists are too caught up in trying to be perfectionist that they're scared of starting because it might not come out perfect. And honestly, that's um, that's not a healthy perspective. 
put your put your expectations aside and the best way to get over that specific case in my opinion is to draw often and to let yourself make mistakes that way um, you get over those expectations and you'll get better so you'll have less mistakes and you'll be afraid of less things but it does take some um, humility to grow as an artist and to um, take somebody's um, constructive criticism or to cr criticize yourself. It takes some humility and, and it's uncomfortable, but it's really good for you as an artist if you want to grow as an artist. Otherwise, you're not gonna grow as an artist. But I can make a whole other video on that. So yeah, that's part of releasing your expectations and trying to get rid of that perfectionist mindset. It's really good to be to be um, strict with yourself on drawing and to have um, and to try to push yourself to become better. But it is not good to be destructive in the sense that you might um, not want to create something just because it's not going to come out the way you want it, or it's not coming out the way you want it, so you give up on it quickly. And that form of art block is not healthy. And so make sure that. You're, you're reminding yourself you're human and that when you're creating, it's, it's healthier to, to create without those expectations and it's not good for your creative ability and you're not gonna grow as an artist and you're not gonna be the best you can become, which is even further from perfection um, if you're afraid of perfection or if you're afraid of not achieving perfection. arm kind of hurts so drawing consistently is what helps me get over our block the most because I know that I do it every single day you don't have to draw every single day but but if but in my case I draw every single day and and it makes it so much easier to get the pen to paper when I don't feel like it because I know that I do it day in and day out and I'm comfortable with it and I've, I've hit the point where um where it's natural to me and it's second nature and with that in mind um it's, it's, it's just such a healthy habit to practice and to get better. The, the better you are, the more confidence you're going to have in, in your work. And that confidence is going to lead to, um, to kind of destroying those blocks, those art blocks, those roadblocks in your mind. The last thing I'll talk about is writing down your ideas. So when, when I have ideas, they, they come to me very randomly and they usually don't come to me in the studio. Um, so what I would usually try to do is be like, I feel that emotion. I feel that idea. I feel that inspiration hitting me at a random time. It could be the middle of the night or it could be in, I'm in my car driving and I'm an hour away from home or something like that, just randomly. But, and I'll forget it. I'll be like, okay, I'll just remember it for later and get it done later. Then I'll go into my studio the next day and, or the later that day. And I'll be like, I don't even know what to do. And I totally forgot what it was that I was inspired by or what ideas I had. Right. And so that's kind of a form of art block for me that I just don't know what I want to create or what I feel like creating. So now what I do is I, I list out and I have a little notes folder in my phone or just carry on a little notebook or sketchbook with you. And when those ideas do hit, write them down or you'll forget them. Trust me, you will forget those ideas. As great as they are, you're going to be like, wow, I could have made millions off that idea. I could have made a beautiful art piece off that idea. I don't know. But... It, you're gonna forget it. <laughs> it's just natural. As as humans, it's natural. Some of you might have better memories, but it's it's really good to keep those uh, keep those ideas written down so that you can ref reference to them once you get in the studio and you can overcome that art block of not having ideas by having them at your disposal or even researching them online, researching some art ideas to get yourself um, kind of your creative juices flowing before working too hard to, to be able to accomplish that, which is a form of art block. Um, the last thing I'll talk about, which I think that was gonna be the last thing, but I, we just remembered that, um, I'll talk about, um, <clears throat> yeah, refreshing the material you're working with. I know we all have our go-to materials or styles that we're doing from our, our art, and it's important to switch that up every now and then. Otherwise, you are gonna get bored, you are gonna get overworked on that style, and it's gonna feel repetitive, and you're gonna lose your creative ability and your creative, your sense of creativity, 
and your inspiration is going to go out the door. Now, a way I combat that is, is I keep switching over to different materials that I don't usually work with or just materials that I don't work with enough. And that'll help me um, break out of my comfort shell and it'll give me the inspiration to keep drawing or working um, in a way that I don't usually work. Like I don't do ink pieces that often. I do them sometimes, but especially, I don't ever draw with a ballpoint pen. I think this is the first time I've drawn with a ballpoint pen in a year maybe, I don't know, maybe more. And that gave me a little bit more of a creative excitement because it's it's new territory, right? And it might be uncomfortable, but it's good to do that. Like I like sometimes I'll pick up color just for the fact that I don't have inspiration right now and I have some art block. So I'll pick up a color, something that's color, and try to go at it and see what, what I could come up with because I'm always, almost always, part of my brand is drawing in black and white or just using colorless material. But anyway, that's some of the things that I think of. I know I miss a ton of things, but um we could go on and on about this for hours and I think that, that would this would be a good video to reference if you have art block and you're trying to get rid of it and you're trying to get working and you're trying to get creative and um, um, I hope this helps you and uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything else so I can make in a further video. I do have some videos that are going to come out about social media, becoming a professional artist, reaching your potential as an artist and videos along those lines. Here is... Kind of, I like. I guess this is the midpoint of the drawing that I would have gotten to. It looks a little bit wider than the than the reference, but here you can see that the, re the reference is quite wide if I change it the angle. But um, also, this is three hundred weight um, cold press watercolor paper, so it's pretty thick. I just like the texture and the and the thickness of it, so that's why I was drawing on it today. It's like a scrap piece I had laying around. But thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any more ideas. Um, and how to get over art block that I didn't mention. Write them in the comments, and um, I will see you in the next video. Appreciate you guys. Bye.